Chicago is a city in crisis right now from the chaos we saw downtown this past weekend to the rise in violent crime. And CBS 2's Tara Molina has learned the combination is already impacting tourism numbers as we head into the summer. Tara joins us live downtown with the effort to turn the tide. Tara. Erica, the recovery effort when it comes to hotel occupancy in Chicago has been much slower than we've seen in other U.S. cities, and now crime is making an impact on that, something we're told the city just can't afford. Chicago shines in the summer. It's when tourism numbers typically go up here for good reason. But when the picturesque is replaced <laughs> by images like these from the weekend, Crime numbers near an all-time high in the loop. For some, this great summer city loses its luster. Our main headwind right now is public safety. Michael Jacobson is president of the Illinois Hotel and Lodging Association. Unfortunately, we have seen both individual leisure travels, travelers begin to cancel their hotel rooms for the next several weeks and months because of what they've been hearing on the news and what they've seen happening downtown. More concerning is we've even seen conferences pull out of Chicago altogether for other cities in the Midwest. And that's after downtown hotels were pummeled by the pandemic. Thankfully, he says the recovery effort continues here. But still, Chicago is lagging behind other major U.S. cities when it comes to occupancy rates. From New York and Boston to Orlando and Atlanta, we're dead last. The gap between the recovery is starting to widen. Those public safety concerns continued crime here playing a role. With summer fun, street fairs, concerts, and more back on the books, 88 events scheduled this month through September at McCormick Place alone, I'm told industry leaders aren't losing all hope quite yet. But there are conversations happening now as they call for city officials to work on new solutions before any of this gets any worse. We just need to lay down all of our egos, put just the rhetoric aside, and let's all come to the table and try to figure out some creative solutions to this. The status quo isn't working. The president of the Chicago Loop Alliance told me in a statement the restrictions coming up this Thursday on Millennium Park are a start to a solution, but they'll continue having conversations with city leaders to restore confidence in the Loop. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.